Marco, what's going on? Nothing much, man. You have a demo ready? I do. Do you have a demo ready? I do. All right, All right let's do it. Ready? This. One, two, three. Oh, you're up. <laughs> All right. I guess it's not my lucky day. Yes. What are we talking about today? All right. We're going to talk about Google Cloud CDN. Okay. This is Google's global CDN That's service great. and how easy it is to set up. Great. Okay. Let's see it. Start the timer. There we go. Okay, so the first thing you have to have is an application or a storage bucket. So there's another video on setting up a, an instance group. Mm -hmm. uh, I highly recommend referencing that. Um, so once you have a, uh, an instance group or a bucket or a storage bucket running, you can essentially just open up your, um, your cloud console, go to network services. The one thing to remember is to enable cloud CDN, you have to have a load balancer running. So our global load balancer needs to be running in the front for the CDN to work. So essentially say, Create load balancer. I want to do an HTTP load balancer because a lot of my content is accessed through HTTP and HTTPS. Um, give it a name, my load balancer. And you just want to create, here you have to create a backend or a front end, uh, backend service or a backend bucket. So here I'm going to say create backend service. Backend service. It asks me what my instance group is. And this is something I already have running. It's a bunch of VMs that are just sitting there ready, ready to, to accept requests. You can specify your ports. And this is, again, some load balancing options, right? You want to load balance based on load, utilization, or rate. I can take all the defaults uh, for this demo. And you can set up a health check as well. And this is something I have, again, that just checks my servers, my, my VMs, to make sure they're up and running. As you can see, there's a single button here that says Enable Cloud CDN. As easy That's it. as that. That's you click a button, and suddenly all your traffic's being cached all around the world. Magic of Google. That is crazy. All right, so I'm going to hit Create here. Uh, I can set up some path rules. We can skip that right now. Um, you have to set up, you have to set up a front end. This is the the, the VIP that you're assigning to your load balancer. Um, so we can pretty much take the uh, defaults there and hit create. So this is firing up the load balancer and at the same time enabling the the CDN option. Once that's set up, I'm going to show you how uh, Google Cloud CDN options uh, you know what options are available to mm -hmm. you. While that's going, let me show you where we have locations, because CDN, you know, it's, it's something where you want the points of presence to be spread around the world. Right, right. Um, we have over 80 plus, 80-ish, 80 80, maybe a little more than 80 mm -hmm. uh, sites, mm -hmm. points of presence present. And that's um, on our website, I can see. It's on our see. website, yep. Very uh, cool. And then you can pretty much you know, scroll through the list. It, it tells you where they're all located. This is you know, a list of uh, worldwide locations. Mm -hmm. and also keep in mind that all of our pops are connected you know, via Fiber, Google Fiber. So right. you're getting very, very fast speeds uh, in between, and that's right. where your content is being cached. So one thing I think that I heard is our CDN, I mean, we obviously use it for our own services. So it's, you know, got Fiber, Fiber all around the world. Yep. And, you know, we pretty much own a huge chunk of the internet. Yep. 40% of internet traffic, I think, goes through. That's that amazing. One. Yeah. Um, so once you have this slow balancer set up, you can see that Cloud CDN now, you have a little Cloud CDN. So you can click on Edit. It tells you that you have a backend service, and you can configure this now. Um, default options work for most folks. Uh, if you want to customize a little bit, you have some options. Um, you can cache based on protocol. So the HTTP version of a file versus an HTTPS version of a file, you can have those cached separately. Uh, some, some people like doing that. Um, you can cache based on host. So if something is, you know, a J, you know JavaScript file is uh, linked or accessed via www.example.com versus just example.com mm -hmm. or you know, site.example.com. Yeah. Uh, you can have different versions of that file cache. And also query strings. Some people like to exclude query strings because essentially it's just you know, the same file but just a bunch of query mm -hmm. strings. It doesn't really change the content. Um, for that, you, in, you exclude, you kind of take this off. If you want query strings to be included, you pretty much check that box. And it allows you to blacklist or whitelist certain query strings to, uh, to enable. Perfect. And I'll be honest, you know, a lot of other CDNs, uh, you know, companies that have been in the CDN business for a very long time, they have a lot more options, a lot more flexibility, you know, entire rule engines to, to set up, you know, dynamic caching and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but the simplicity of what you see out of Google and also the performance you get out of it, right. again, that global uh, fiber network uh, gives you a huge boost in terms of, C you know, download speeds and, uh, and the ability to serve your content as fast as possible to end users. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like we're just really good at caching stuff all around the world. And making it super easy. And making it super easy, yeah. Checkbox, right? Checkbox, that's all it is. Perfect. All well, it is. look, you got a little bit more time. You want any? say anything else? No. Buy Google Cloud Platform. CDN. It is. And this Google is the CDN man right here. <laughs> all right. Thanks, all right. Marco. Thanks, Jonathan.